Oh, hell yeah! Finally, some good news for once for us progressives after having such a horrible start to the 2018 primaries with all the horrible losses, be it Allison Hartson or Polly Jean Swearage and of the such. We got some big wins the other night. As up in New York, oh boy, Ocasio-Cortez taking out Joe Crowley. Holy crap, by like 15 points or something like that. That is huge. Hopefully she'll win in November, and I'll be one more progressive in Congress. And of course, it was nice to see in Oklahoma, of all places, legalizing medical weed. And <laughs> I, found, I actually looked that up, and funny enough, one of the objections that people that brought up that opposed it was, uh, it's just going to be a gateway so people can smoke weed recreational. Uh, counterpoint, even if that is the case, so fucking what? Who cares? There's nothing wrong with it, so stop being a bunch of authoritarian cunts. That pass by 10 points sucks it couldn't be recreational, but hopefully it'll be the case. But, and of course, down where I'm at in Maryland, whoo boy, what a night we had. But before I get to the big one with Ben Jealous, I want to focus on the two other ones that were important to me. First, we got the Senate race for a Democratic primary. And I was hoping that we would finally get rid of Ben Cardin and get an actual progressive in, which is why I supported Chelsea Manning. But unfortunately, she lost. Ben Cardin won by like 70-something plus points. He had 87, means 80 something percent of the vote. Chelsea was <coughs> second though with 5%. She got like 32,000 or something like that. So not bad for her first go around. And only 199 people in my county voted for her. So sucks for that. You know, it's bad enough that she lost. It's even worse that he got re, I mean, I'm reelected in the primaries. Marilyn, what the fuck are you doing for crying out loud? Ben Cardin is not a progressive. He voted He voted the um, Fast Track TPP so Obama could sign it without any congressional approval. He's He um, co-sponsored a bill that would crack down on BDS supporters like me so I would be locked up for supporting them. He's not a progressive. He's an authoritarian right winger. And the fact that you supported him over Chelsea or uh, someone else is unbelievably pathetic. And just like I said... For the last four years, Cardin, I am not voting for you in the primary. You are on your own in the general. And I already know you and your supporters are going to be like, Well, if you don't support me, a Republican will beat me. <laughs> okay, first off, no. Maryland's an overwhelmingly Democratic state, so you're pretty much going to win your re-election in a landslide. And also, if you do lose to the Republican, guess what? That's your fault. That's completely your fault for losing because... You're not a progressive. If you were an actual progressive and didn't do all the things I just mentioned, I would have happily voted for you in the general, but I'm not going to make the same mistake I did in 2012. So to all you Democratic, corporate Democrats, I mean to say, that blame us for not supporting you, that's your fault. If you want our vote, you have to earn it. You have to be progressive. And if you're not progressive, you're not going to get it. So fuck you, Ben Cardin. You're not going to get my vote. And if you lose, that's your fault. But I think you're going to win in a landslide. And I hope, because I know you're up there in age, I think if you win when your next election comes up in 2024, I think you'll be easily in your 80s. So I hope by then you'll retire and then we can finally get rid of you and replace you with an actual progressive. So fuck you, Cardin. Not getting my vote. And then down where I'm at in the Maryland's first, di um, first district, which is on the eastern shore, my candidate supported Allison Gabriff. Unfortunately lost. She was second place. She got 27% of the vote. Almost 10,000 votes. She lost to, to a guy by the name of Jesse Colvin. I'm going to have to look him up because I don't know anything about him. But my mother likes him. So that's a good sign because she doesn't buy the corporate Democrats either. And I hate to say this, but unfortunately, even if he is like a hardcore like corporate Democrat, like a Hillary Clinton basically... I probably most likely will hold my nose and vote for her because Andy Harris won his re-election by over 80% for God's sake. And Andy Harris is one of the most regressive Republicans I've ever seen. He is every single caricature and stereotype of a very regressive Republican that you could think of. Like Ted Cruz, he is a 
overt Christian fundamentalist extremists. And in my video I did about Allison Gabriff last year, I did the first half of the video talking about how horrible he is. Go watch that. He is so bad that honestly, I will take anything to get rid of him. He needs to go. So, Jesse, it's pretty much a guarantee you got my vote, even though I still gotta look you up. Because I want that regressive lunatic gone. I honestly, admittedly, probably have Andy Harris derangement syndrome, although it's for good reason, because he's that fucking insane. And hopefully, this time we can finally take him down. But... <laughs> oh boy, the best news ever happened! Ben Jealous won the primary last night! Probably in a big landslide, too. He won by almost 10 points. He got over 50,000 more votes than runner-up. Rush Shern Baker, thank God he lost. I don't need Hogan in for another four years because you're not a progressive like Ben Jealous is. Wow, this was a close one because for all of you who don't know, Ben Jealous just a month ago was down like 20 points in the Democratic primary and he pulled it off within less than a, a, within a month. He pulled off even quicker than Bernie, so thank God he won. I was celebrating that whole night. Me and my parents got a whole big celebration planned coming up soon. Hopefully we can get to that. And I was so happy that he won my county, Worcester, by almost 30 points. Jesus Christ, what a shellacking he took. He won everywhere except for Prince George's County, which is like the most elitist and richest part of Maryland that is so out of touch. No wonder they went with Baker, pretty much. But he thankfully, Ben Jealous won everywhere else, pretty much, in such a landslide. That was so needed, as we now, unlike in 2014, actually have a progressive running against Larry Hogan, as we did not have that with Anthony Brown back in 2014. Ugh. And, <laughs> um, Hogan's campaign and their supporters are already going full meltdown over Ben Jealous' win, and already are trying to smear him and delegitimize him already on Twitter, and everyone's saying, uh, he's, um, Hogan's gonna win in a landslide, uh, 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 uh. The Larry Hogan's so popular, there's no way he can lose, even though he's done horrible things to the state and such. And there was one comment in particular that really pissed me off. I went on WJZ13, which is the CBS affiliate in Baltimore, which I grew up watching to watch the election results. And when Ben Jealous won, there was they actually had a um comment from Larry Hogan himself, but unfortunately it was gone when I went back to get it, which is really angering because it was so disgusting, but they kept up a comment from one of his campaign staffers who basically said the exact same thing as Hogan did, and here it is. In Ben Jealous, they find a risky blend of ideological extremism and recklessness who would have mo who would move Maryland in the opposite direction and towards the bitter partisanship and dysfunction that poisons Washington. Fuck you, you fucking regressive retard. You call Ben jealous an ideological extremist and reckless? Motherfucker, the man you supported vetoed a paid sick day bill that even the vast majority of Republicans and small business owners supported, for God's sake. He has drastically cutted educa education funding. And when Hogan first came in as governor, Maryland had the number one schools in the country. He is also against legalizing weed. And I said this on Sahil's um stream the other night, and I'm not kidding, during the 2014 Republican primary when he and three other Republicans were running, because legalizing weed was a big priority in that election, he said, and I'm not kidding, as he said this and I quote, I don't want to legalize weed because I don't want any new taxes. Of all the retarded excuses you can think of to not legalize weed, that's the best you can come up with, and he's still against legalizing weed right now, so he is a regressive on that. And now we've fallen off quite a bit because of your horrible policies. He's done so many things that even the majority of Republicans say, we don't agree with you, don't do this. And you're telling me that Ben is the extremist here? No, you are the extremist. Ben Jealous has the has policies overwhelming support of Marylanders along with the country. 
And for all of you that think he's a radical or just simply don't know what he supports, here are his policies directly from his site. On education, if he's elected, he will increase pay for the teachers by 29%, have universal pre-K, and fund it by legalizing and taxing weed, which is a right thing to do, and actually have the casinos that finally opened up recently down in Baltimore use the revenue from them to help fund them as well. He also supports Medicare for all. He also wants to end mass incarceration and use the money that we're wasting to fund universal college in the state. He also supports police reform, which in Baltimore, which is the most corrupt and racist police department I've ever seen in my life, needs desperate reform, especially after what happened to Freddie Gray. He also wants to invest in transportation, infrastructure, and job creation programs to help rebuild Baltimore and all the cities in Maryland, especially Baltimore as it what used to be an industrial hub until free trade and a stupid-ass drug war ruined that and made Baltimore a shithole. And he also is an environmentalist that wants to do a shit ton of renewable energy ASAP, especially since it's a big important thing on for our Maryland since we're on the Atlantic and we are going to deal with rising sea levels and worry about ruining the Chesapeake and stuff like that. So, you could tell me, does this sound radical and extremist to you? No. You probably think, Actually, those are actually very reasonable and the right things to do. It's only far-right lunatics like Larry Hogan and people that support him that think this. The majority of Marylanders agree with Ben Jealous, just like the majority of Americans agree with us progressives. You right-wingers are wrong, and that's the end of it. And, the, and everyone keeps saying, oh, Larry Hogan's going to win the landslide. Look at the polls. Larry beats um, Ben Jealous by like 10, 20 points or something like that. Nuh. The most recent poll that I saw was back in early April. Ben Jealous was like an unknown at that point. Now he is known. He was down 20 points in the Democratic primary just a month ago, and then he surged to the top to win the primary. If you think he can do that in a month, how on earth do you think he cannot catch up to Hogan? Hogan only won because Anthony Brown, who was a Democratic challenger in 2014, was not a progressive. He was a smug, condescending asshole that tried to weasel out of debates. He had the same entitlement that Hillary had, and he thought he was going to win no matter what, and he tried to not even bother campaigning like Hogan did. And Hogan's high approval, I still say to this day, is just because he's a cancer survivor and people feel sorry for him. You can't tell me with a straight face that after all the horrible things he's done to my state that I've mentioned, you can't tell me that he's still very good. He's not. He is horrible and he needs to fucking go. And I want his cancer-ridden, goddamn regressive ass out of my state. And I don't want to see him for another four years. And thankfully, with Ben Jealous winning, that makes it significantly more likely that he'll be kicked out. So, all of us progressives in Maryland, we have to work very hard to ensure that Ben Jealous can win and kick Larry Hogan's ass out. Fuck him. Ben Jealous 2018, and hopefully the rest of us progressives across the country will continue to win. As we need to kick all, out all of these Republicans and all the corporate Democrats too. All of them are at fault for the problems we're facing.